Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Payday 3. Guys, I've been playing a good bit. As you can see, I almost got $5 million in the bank. If we take a look at my loadout, I got the standard lining on the armor. I like having the infiltrator aced. Whenever a guard begins to detect you, you get rushed, meaning you move faster. I like the manipulator one. I find myself tying up hostages a lot. Uh, but the shot range is increased with overbearing and they stay down longer. I think those two are pretty good. I've also played like all the heists now. I remember last video, I've only played the top four. Yeah, I've really been enjoying Payday, bro. I've been playing it a lot. The matchmaking for me has been working. There's been people on Twitter I've been seeing that they're saying there's errors here and there, but they did go down. They took the servers down last night to implement a new update and they're doing another one on Friday, I believe. Talking about that, they also had a live stream that they did. Star Breeze, it was two of the lead people for Payday. They talked about the game and future updates and what they have uh, planned. There's a good couple things that I wanted to touch on that they that they spoke about. Come over here and kiss. <sighs> I don't want to do this. No. They talked about implementing a chat system within the beginning before the heist, not even during the heist. And I did look it up. Payday 2 had a voice chat option. So I don't know why they didn't put a voice chat option in this game. The next one I wrote down was one that I was really happy about. Adding a improvement to the UI in terms of challenges. I forgot the code to this thing. What's this gonna kill? You? The changes to the UI included making it easier to see the challenges that you need to do next in order to progress up in your ranks, such as, you know, recommended challenges. Which I think that was a really good observation from Starbreeze to add that. Because myself, you know, I've been trying to rank up and, and go forward. I've been checking the combat challenges, which I've been doing the most of to rank up. For example, like you look at the challenges, every time you buy a new gun, if you get a headshot with it, it's an instant like 40 or 50 points. All right, bro. Oh man, I see a one-legged dog. To have recommended challenges and for it to show you what you've got the highest progress on in terms of what you need to complete next is really, really good. And I think a lot of people would like it. At first, I mean, I was on the fence about how the ranking up system was there's no xp it's just doing challenges to know what you need to kind of help you focus on when you get to the higher ranks it'd be very useful it really would the overkill weapon but i think that the blast radius for it is pretty freaking huge so if you shoot someone directly and if you get hit that thing does so much damage it takes so much shield off of you i'm i i don't know where to look for this door switch it really hurts my heart to see all the backlash on twitter and in reddit and like all these places for this game watching the live streams and looking at the tweets from the company and the, and the producers of the game it seems like they really really are trying their best to get things working get the servers up do everything they can to to make it a better experience for the players you would know if it was disingenuous how they were especially watching the live stream is hearing the two gentlemen talk about changes they've got coming and the plans they have for the game and server stability and all that but like i said in the last video things this game has a bright future it really does with all the updates are i man shut up what the fuck? <laughs> see why did he find a need to run up on that wall and do that bad flip oh sh hey man shut up see Look at that! How much damage that grenade just did! I have no shield! Okay, so they do change the codes. Did you guys know you can let them hold the bag for you? Look, 2016 had a lot of great music. SoundCloud era, it was fire. We're gonna try 2016, and if it works, you gotta hit that subscribe. Let's go. I'm chill out. Have to leave you Dude, chill out. No! 87 14, 97 24. 87 14. Yes! This Come on, dude! Oh. Yep, you know that money? Plug in the SSD. If you're a content creator, I really recommend getting an SSD to back up all your content. And if anything ever happens, you've got all those files, you know, saved on that SSD. It's a really great backup plan to have. Get the fuck wrong! Damn it! Oh, give me, give me, give me. Oh, I, put the money oh down! Oh my god, I can't Come on, man. I'll tell you, man, take a chance to tell you. Well, especially when I'm Oh shit. 400,000. Okay, we missed four bags. We probably would have got like 600,000. So that wasn't too bad. <laughs> my you wanna go take a shit, bro? Oh, <laughs> you guys remember how I was telling you about the storm that had hit my area and how the roads flooded real bad and messed my car up terribly? So when I got home, my wife had told me, hey, you need to put that lawnmower up in the shed. We have like an elevated shed uh, where like flood waters won't mess it up or anything. Oh, this is the day before. This is Thursday. Friday is when it, the storm hit and it got real high with the rainwater. But she was like, you need to go ahead and put that lawnmower up. And I was like, nah. 
off. And it was mainly because I didn't want to start the mower at 9 or 10 at night when uh, our neighbors have children going to sleep. So I didn't do it. When we got home Friday after that car incident, the rain was high enough to where it was about to impact the mower and the blades. So I got all my work clothes on. I got my shirt and my pants and all this stuff. Well, I got to jack this one. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I raised the mower deck up and then I got the uh, the mower propped up on some wood and everything and it took me a good while dude There was a whole puddle of water where the mower was thankfully it didn't hit the deck and it didn't hit the rims yet It was just on the tires, but I knew it was gonna be pouring rain for another like 14 hours I think it was 12 14 hours so that water would have rose shoes are soaked It's the water is in my socks my shirt obviously from the rain and everything in the shed right there I've got a light switch my hand was a little bit wet whatever I flipped the switch first time everything's good I got a little water on the light switch which I didn't think much of it. And then guess what I did? I'm standing in water. My whole body is soaked and my hand was wet. Then I flipped this light switch and I got shocked like a bitch. <laughs> like 120 volts, whatever it flows through a light switch. It scared me. I'm like, what the fuck? Thought that uh, light switches are grounded. So like it shouldn't shock me though. I'm standing in a puddle of water and I'm wet and I got a wet hand. It would go through the ground but or trip a breaker and it didn't do neither of them. So that's another thing I got to work on. I've had a lot of people tell me like, man, owning a home, you know, that's great, whatever. But oh, you got to deal with all the joys of owning a home. I'm telling you, man, to deal with a couple uh, misfortunate things that go on at home a couple of the problems you've got to fix it's a lot better than having to rent and throw money away but people we're you know there's certain predicaments where you've got to rent until you can get leverage yourself enough to get a home it's completely understandable dude you got to do what you got to do to live and survive once you do get your home it's a big weight off your shoulders and invest in insurance invest in things that'll prevent you from the possibility of having a, a loss so that was that was fun <laughs> I gotta fix that. I still ain't fixed that shit yet. I'm trying to upload videos. I know I was gonna say I was gonna do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but to stay more consistent with my quality, I'm gonna do every Monday and Thursday, and I'll finalize that. I think that's a good median for me from going to work, spending time with my wife, my family, doing things I wanna do, taking care of things around the house, and producing YouTube content. What I wanna do is I wanna do YouTube full time eventually. Consistency is the biggest thing for anything you wanna do in life. You just gotta stay consistent. Pick these bags up. Hey, bro. Do you know I'm right behind you? Oh, that's so cool. Did y'all see that? They put their shield with the grenade. That's how they didn't do it. Two. My homie got three. Hit. Come on, bro. Where are they going? They run away. She ain't never had no dick. I don't like my camo, dude. Check this camo out. Red with the black grip. Oh, that shit's up. We got three minutes on that. Three minutes on that drill. Well, thank you all so much again for watching, bro. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed, hit that like, hit that subscribe, share the video with your friend, man. Drop me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts about the video was. Been wings, man. Y'all stay safe, bro. And take care.